Hello everyone, Magdalena here, Wolf of Coins. You probably can see me there. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I've been recovering from a nasty cold for over a week now, and it's not even funny anymore, but I thought I'm well enough to make a video today, and I wanted first to share with you my little corner. Um, I will be doing some deep digging this uh, autumn and possibly winter too. So here is my Majanna or Morana or Morena uh, corner. So these three images uh, represent God, the Slavic goddess I call Majanna. And there is also Veles there. I've showed him on uh, on the channel once. So anyway, uh, yeah, it's this time of the year and this is my uh, Majanna <laughs> and Vela's corner. I felt called to uh, make a past lives spread. And I remembered watching a great video by Kelly from The Truth in Story. And I used the same spread that she used. So, but <laughs> I even used the same deck, you guys. It's the Marielle. However, I also used an oracle to combine with tarot. Because if, if you watch my channel, you might know that I like to combine tarot with oracle. Also because I somehow really don't like reading one card per position. So I always like some dialogue between the cards. So I pulled one card uh, from tarot, the Marielle tarot, and one card from the, the Oracle of Mystical Moments. Oracle of Mystical Moments by Katrin Weltstein. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the positions are... So I asked about a past life that is... Uh, very relevant to what is what's going on in my my life the the past life that is really influencing me so i can learn from it and you know <laughs> become a bit wiser so the uh, first one is who i was then um my greatest pleasure love and joy here we have uh, greatest disappointment fear tragedy here, unfinished business, and lastly, a piece of advice. <clears throat> and I also pulled uh, cards from this deck. It's called something like Animal Knowledge Cards, something like that. And yeah, Animal Spirits Knowledge Cards, you can see here. So, one card to represent this past life and the other card to represent my situation right now. What is relevant for me right now. So, I pulled the first card and I was like, what the hell? Like, was I an executioner? <laughs> so, yeah, I got the Ten of Swords from the Mary L Tarot and um, touched the sky. So I thought that maybe I was a person who didn't really, who was not really good with communicating with others. I was like isolated in my little tower, let's say, in my dreams. There was, I had even this thought that maybe uh, I was put in a like, uh, what you say? hospital like a uh, closed uh, area and <laughs> there I was killed but uh, I don't think it's uh, this is very uh, relevant here no I think most possibly um, I was a bit of a loner closed in my own world and you know like here it's touched the sky here this um, creature is also like riding the skies it's just 
um, doesn't look very inviting. <laughs> uh, then, yeah, the greatest love, joy. It was two of cups. And <clears throat> new directions. So what I thought here is that these two, these are, well, unicorns. Oh, one thing, uh, I read the Mary L. Tarot not using the guidebook. Um, <laughs> yeah, now you can, you can kill me. No, uh, but anyway, um, somehow I don't um, connect with the guidebook. The messages there just don't yeah, resonate with me. And when I read it uh, completely intuitively, then it all makes sense. So that's how I read Mary L. Tarot. Oh, come on, focus. Yeah, they are beautiful. So these are unicorns, like rare creatures that are not, um, yeah, not everybody believes in, you know. Um, it's um, so something uh, unusual. And also it's the two of cups, so it's this couple. And here also we have people cheering this guy here. Can you see it? He's going away and they're cheering. Like, yay, good for you. And so I thought it might be mm, like uh, discovering new things that other people uh, like it, th they were not known about yet. And <coughs> Maybe there, there were travels because they're like unicorns or horses so travel here, this balloon. So traveling plus um, for sure um, sharing what I've learned with other people because there's this couple, right? Two unicorns, two of cups here. It's, it's a group of people. So um, sharing my passions with others, which kind of, yeah, resonates really with who I am now. So it might be true. And then, uh, yeah, the greatest disappointment, I got the Ace of Wands and Weaving Flowers. It's about creating. Uh, even the key one of the keywords for this card is Creator and Ace of Wands is for me it's also about the this force of creation so yeah um it looked for me like there there is you see there's something here in in the womb of this uh, androgynous creature um or herma hermaphrodite creature you know <laughs> you can see um so there is this star in the place of creation in the womb and this person doesn't look happy do they there are some scars here as well and here it's about creating so i think there there must be something uh, connected to what i created or invented i don't know if we go with this <laughs> invention idea so there was there was some disappointment about about me as a creator and um yeah there is a wound there and then unfinished business i got the hanged man whoops sorry and treasured memories so what i thought was um that in the past life, I never accepted what happened there, something with my creativity. I never accepted it. I always, for the rest of my life, I felt like uh, like a victim. And I just focused on those memories that were, you know, not material life anymore. So, so yeah, that's that's... So the thing that I was dragging everything behind me and I couldn't agree to what happened in my life. And then uh, advice from the past life to this one. 
And I got Five of Wands and Miss Sunshine. Hope you can see it well. Uh, I just looked at these cards. First at this one. This was still uncovered. Uh, and uncovered, uh, not flipped. And I thought, see this dark forest here and this bright crazy lion shining with some kind of force or fire. And then you get this. There is this Miss Sunshine. So there is also some darkness here, but she's shining bright. And also in the, in the guidebook it says about this darkness here. So, so the advice would be do not dwell on your disappointments, on the difficult things. Just just move forward. Believe in yourself. Believe in your light. That's, that's the advice, in my opinion. So lastly, the cards I pulled for the, from the animal, animal spirits knowledge cards. It was Eagle. So this one is about power, creation, again, creation, illumination, exploration. So as I said, exploration, new territories, and it's like flying in the air. So this life was all about um, going where no, no one <laughs> went before, uh, I think. And right now... Where I am is the bull renewal fertility growth so it's it says and on the back of the card is about the bull as being the sacrificial animal and how it guaranteed the sacrifice guarantees renewal uh, so I think that I need to you know go through the hardships suffer my, my share and only then I can, you know, gain something. But also the bull, it's it's an animal that follows me around because I'm a Taurus. And also in the Chinese zodiac, I'm the cow. So, <laughs> so yeah, um, this, this animal also is known for its uh, patience. So I often see the bull or the cow as uh, an animal that just you know, keeps working and does like a bit by bit, does what needs to be done and then uh, it will succeed. So I think, uh, yeah, that's the message here. I hope you've enjoyed. You can also do this kind of spread to learn some new things about yourself, to get some advice and yeah. I hope I will I will get better soon. Really, it's been too long. Uh, have a lovely day. Bye. And I forgot to show you I've just started this journal. My husband went to um, IT conference and they were giving away loads of these and this is a, actually a really cool journal with good paper. And, oh, come on, focus. See, it has a pocket at the, the end. You can stuff things there. And I decided to use it for, <laughs> for my deep digging, you know, shadow shadow work, work uh, thingies. And I put these two images here. I just printed them out from the internet. I believe that the author of these paintings is uh, I Igor um, Ajiganov, possibly a Russian person, and he creates wonderful images of Slavic deities. <clears throat> so here Veles and uh, Morana, or uh, Majanna as I call her. Um, so like they are both probably very helpful with digging deep and there is this other uh, image that I put here and it's 
It's a photo by Xenia Musa. I hope I'm saying it right. Even somewhere here. It's not very uh, visible. But yeah, this is so gorgeous. It's also uh, titled uh, Morena, so the goddess um, Morena or Majanna. And, and that, that image there is also by her. And I accidentally printed it out uh, as a, a full page uh, picture, so I framed it and put it on my desk. <laughs> but anyway, I thought this one would be great for this journal because there are like two of them and it's a bit like, you know, uh, like a mirror. So I will be looking at myself. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my God. I just found it on, on Pinterest. And yeah, I'm starting here. So yeah, again, thanks so much for watching. Bye.